Okay, we are now at Yale, and uh, in this video we are going to be uh, going out towards the uh, house of Haywell, and we are acquiring Kaiser here, so Sir, Sir Haywell lives just outside this village, so I am escorting Haywell to the village, and um, we are uh, probably going to expect an encounter here, so uh, just uh, stand by for the encounter, and it will be... Uh, shortly as soon as I move and uh, here we go so we're being accosted by random monsters and uh, we got some slimes and some rats and we got uh, even vampire bats so um, I know that the vampire bats in this game can inflict poison which can be uh, rather disconcerting so we have to make sure that we don't uh, our team doesn't get poisoned by the uh, by the bat creatures but here we're engaging the uh, slimes and stuff uh, our levels are slightly increased now, uh, so uh, this uh, fight should not be too much of a problem. Not like uh, we're going to get owned in this fight. It's still in the beginning stages of the games where the uh, enemies don't hit like a truck and they don't have like multiple health bars and stuff like that. So we're um, going to face this huge rat. Now in this battle, the, uh, the bat is the uh, by far the one that does the most damage and uh, is the one that has the status effect. I think a huge rat can possibly stun opponents. But it's nowhere near as dangerous as poisoning at this stage in the game because the uh, the hit points are just so drastically low uh, that for you know, poisoning uh, would be a death sentence unless you have an antidote. And then of course you have to waste around uh, using an antidote. So we're going to uh, be facilitating attacks here against the uh, slimes. The oozes here are uh, actually uh, very, very, very easy enemies. They're kind of uh, like the slime opponents in Dragon Quest. So we're going to continue on here and we're going to move our healer up and uh, our healer is trailing bu uh, behind and help but we can get her back up if we just uh, keep her tenacious and let her occasionally attack and get uh, the uh, the attack based bonus which is where the bulk of the, uh, the experience is doled out is when you defeat enemies. Uh, when you defeat an enemy you get the most experience rather than just uh, the, uh, the small amount of experience of performing a simple action. So we're going to continue on here, uh, those two in the back are going to retreat towards Haywell Village, uh, which is usually, you have two enemies uh, on these maps that will usually uh, retreat back while the uh, rest get, uh, get slaughtered. I don't know if they're freaking that especially overpowered or special attack enemies, but they seem to be uh, consistent with the rest of the enemies on the map, so I don't think we have boss level opponents on here. Um, well, certainly not boss level opponents, uh, because that would just be... Uh, 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 ridiculous at this juncture. I think the uh, first uh, boss uh, that we actually encounter in the entire game is uh, when you uh, uh, re-enter the ancient tower and face the uh, the uh, possessed king. But uh, even then, freaking, he's he's got a large health bar, but it's not that obscenely large yet compared to the uh, the greater doubles and the end level bosses of the game. So uh, we're going to uh, persist on here and keep uh, continuing. Uh, this, there's a slime and a bat, so uh, uh, I'm still getting damaged for four, which means that I could do some leveling up uh, to be consistent. I'm going to use uh, Chester's ranged attack, uh, ranged attack here because uh, it will allow me to move up uh, Jaha to uh, do a to do a, uh, a frontal attack while there's a ranged attack behind. Since we have, uh, in, yeah, considering that you don't get uh, archers until later in the game, I think you have to. Rescue the first archer, which is an elf archer, like uh, way later in the game when you get onto the other continent. But, um, okay, so the uh, huge bat is dropping medical herbs, which is very useful in this game. So, we're uh, continuing on through this so that we can get to uh, Hale's house. And, of course, freaking there's gonna be a surprise there when we get there, but uh, we're gonna move. Uh, but we got Sarah right now, and she's in desperate need of a heal. So, uh, wait, no, oh, that thing has one hit point left, so, yeah, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna attack it to get the experience, and I got 49 experience out of that, uh, and a level up on top of it, so, after this, uh, her next move is probably gonna be to heal herself, because that is essential. And also, there's no, uh, there's no enemies, uh, in the vicinity, so she can heal herself on the next round, which would be the uh, most off optimal course of action. Uh, I'm going to use the uh, medical heal on Chester because he needs help. And since uh, Sarah can only do one heal per turn, 
Uh, someone's gonna have to use medical heal to do multiple healings in one round. So we're gonna continue up here. We're going to um, heal Sarah because uh, she's one of the more central characters in the entire game, being the fact that she's a healer and is the foundation of uh, the entire group. I mean, I could do without for one of the warriors or the. I could do without Jaha or Chester, but I cannot do without the uh, without the little healer uh, priest character. So, yeah, because she heals everyone and she keeps you alive in the entire game, and especially when she becomes a viper and a master monk. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna defeat these two enemies uh, that are uh, lingering up towards the thing, because they just want us to chase them up there to waste turns. Which is uh, one of the things that they do, because they're uh, they're jerks, which is why they're bad guys. So Sarah is casting heal on Alpha, so that uh, this isn't really necessarily for the healing effect, but more for, more so for the uh, experience gaining effect. Because when I get there, free, I'm not going to have to do any heals because I can't damage that hard. So what Sarah's going to do is she's just going to it in physical attacks rather than uh, healing capabilities. So uh, yeah, the, uh, the huge rat's going to come down and attack uh, uh, my team leader here, and as you can see, he only does three damage, which uh, he can't uh, he can't survive the attrition of multiple rounds at that rate. He will, uh, though, eventually fall. It's just a matter of rounds and numbers. And as you can see, I'm doing grotesquely uh, far more damage than the uh, than the opponents on this map. So all I have to do is just. Uh, uh, just uh, overrun them with physical attacks and then they'll be finished. See, uh, pretty much my characters are doing 6 attacks where they're doing just 2 and 3 damage. Yep. Yeah. Sarah couldn't be moved up because the terrain didn't allow enough pile movements to move up like that, so I'm just going to... Uh... This should be done in the next round or maybe the beginning of the next round, so... See, that uh, that's uh, it's over for uh, the... The huge rat, so we're, um, so, uh, I don't even have to do any healing at this point, point. if I do, it's probably just gonna be for experience points, and, uh, we're gonna attack him, and this is probably where it's gonna be over. Yeah, seven, uh, seven damage, so, he got 35 experience out of that, so, uh, we're gonna move on to Hale's house now. I'm gonna drop the save state here because you know, in case the uh, emulator crashes. This emulator is not really known to crash, but sometimes it does. So that's why I drop the save state there to uh, capture my progress. And um, we're going to uh, strangers. No answer. Why don't you wait inside for him? Oh, okay. Oh, he's being attacked by uh, soldiers. And they're obviously freaking on acting on behalf of. Uh, the uh, king that just got possessed by the demon from the uh, previous scene, so... The gizmo, I should better say. Yeah, the uh, soul-possessing gizmo. And, uh, we're gonna check the, um... Are you okay, sir? Why would you do something like this? There were Gollum soldiers. They demanded the information on ground sale. Then they suddenly snatched it at them. I assume after stabbing you repeatedly. Who is it? What did he say? He's Alpha from Grand Seal. He said that uh, ground seal has opened. And a serious disaster has taken place. He came to see you for information. What? The door is open? Who broke the seal? Calm down, sir. Why are you so excited? Hazen, listen to me carefully. Grand's Island is lost. The tower sealed an ancient de devil. Stop talking or you'll die. I'm almost dead anywhere. Cough, cough. Look for the jewels. And seal the evil. And, uh, now he has perished. Sir, hail. Please don't leave me. Sir Hell passed away, but I'm going to seal the tower. It's Sir Hell's last wish. Please, his, wish, his last wish is related to your message. I shall join you. He is an amazing now joining the force. So we have now assimilated another, mer uh, another member of the team, who is a mage. So we are going to go forth and seal the evil. Now let's go to the ancient shrine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's uh, was 